there, it's Allie from bakingamoment.com. We're getting into late summer, early fall, and if you're like me and you have a vegetable garden, I bet you have tons of zucchini. What do you do with all the zucchini? I've got your answer, zucchini bread. This easy recipe bakes up moist and delicious, just a hint of sweetness and a hint of warm cinnamon spice. Zucchini bread is a quick bread. This just means that it's made by first combining all the dry ingredients in one bowl, then the liquid ingredients in another bowl. Put them together, mix them up, and that's your bread made. You're gonna need one medium zucchini for this recipe. I know you've probably got more than one medium zucchini hanging around, so my advice is to make several loaves of this zucchini bread. Wrap it up in cello bags, give it as gifts. It makes a great hostess gift. Share it with your neighbors, anybody who you wanna make feel special, or it can be frozen. Wrap it up tightly in plastic wrap, slip it into a zip top bag, and it'll keep in the freezer for several months. So you'll be able to enjoy the summery flavors of zucchini bread all year round. Start out by shredding the zucchini and placing it in a colander to drain. This will keep your zucchini bread from becoming too soggy. In a large bowl, place your flour, light brown sugar, baking powder for lift, cinnamon, and salt. I also like to add a handful of roughly chopped walnuts, but that's totally optional. You can replace the walnuts with another kind of nut, or you can leave them out entirely, or you can put in some chocolate chips. Give these ingredients a quick start just to get them combined. Then you're on to the liquid ingredients melted butter, Greek yogurt. I like to use whole milk Greek yogurt, but you could also use low fat or fat free. Or if you don't wanna use Greek yogurt, you can use sour cream or buttermilk as a replacement. Eggs, a little bit of milk to keep it moist, and vanilla extract for flavor. Whisk all this up together and then add it in to the dry ingredients. with the shredded and drained zucchini. Fold it all together quickly but gently. You wanna to try to get the batter combined in as few strokes as possible. This will ensure that your zucchini bread bakes up nice and tender. If you stir it too much, it could come out tough. It's totally fine if the batter is a little bit lumpy or even if there are some streaks of flour. Transfer your zucchini bread batter to a greased loaf pan. And bake the bread until a toothpick inserted into the thickest part comes out clean or with just a few moist crumbs. I love having a loaf of this summery zucchini bread in my kitchen. It's great in the morning with my coffee or tea or as a nice afternoon snack. If you're looking for a way to use up all that zucchini from your garden, I hope you give this recipe a try. cooking or if you just like watching recipe videos then please give this one a like and hit the subscribe button too so you can be notified every time I come out with a new video. Mm -hmm.